What's up? Welcome to Destination Station. As always, I'm Destin. Thank you for clicking on this video. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button for all things horror and, and specifically all things Scream related. Uh, you are in the right place. And today we're going to talk about Billy Loomis and his possibly return to Scream 6. Or some people are saying it's going to be called Scream 2, which I think is a horrible idea. I hope they do not go with that. But uh, first off, I want to talk about my new wardrobe. Uh, do I look like anybody you recognize uh, from, from the Scream franchise? Yeah. So uh, yeah, I got this in. Thinking about rocking this as my new look for YouTube, for my channel and everything. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. You want old Destin back or do you want this to be the way I do it or do you want me to just swap it up? Anyways, back to Scream 6. Alright, so... I'm still going to call this movie Scream 6. I'm not going to refer to it as Scream 2, okay? Because it's not official, but there are rumors out there that it's being labeled as Scream 2. Uh, so uh, I have a video also coming out of everything that we know so far. So, so be looking out for that video. But today I want to talk about Skeet Ulrich and I want to talk about his return to Scream. And, and we all know the way Scream 5 ended that that sam is still seeing these visions she got the taste for blood you know the, the, billy is in her genes she he even like nudged at where the knife was at and so he's kind of helping her he's kind of like agging her on to cut some throats so at the end of the movie after she's done killed richie and she's putting her sister in the back of the ambulance and she's getting ready to go and she's telling Sydney and Gail her goodbyes and everything this she she looks down at the hood of the car and she sees the reflection from the hood of the uh, police vehicle that you know Billy is still there he's still a presence she didn't defeat her demons you know I know I've talked about this before in the past but you have to understand that he will make a return in Scream 6 there's no way that they could go around it unless they just throw away Sam's character you know I, 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 I mean but but here's the question is, is where are they gonna go with this are they going to go with the Anakin you know Skywalker type type uh, idea of like Sam slowly slipping into the dark side and and Billy's kind of like agging her on to keep killing and stuff like that or now that she has um, uh, had the taste for blood maybe she's more uncontrollable maybe she wants it even more maybe it's like you know uh hereditary to where like billy he he just he's just psycho and sam can't help it it's just you know there's even studies out there to where you know like like um criminals and stuff like that out there that like it's in their blood and, and it, it's it's pretty much you know known that like like their their offspring will will have these same tendencies and everything so 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 this is this might be an approach that they go with the film and and we all know that my, matt and tyler and radio silence they're risking it all they've already said that they're going to risk it all the first screen film screen five was going to be for west showing respect to everything and and possibly saying goodbye to some of our legacy characters but i don't think we're saying goodbye i think they they're still going to have a have some sort of key role in the overall uh story and um uh, it looks like gail has already signed on um there there's some images of showing that that she's actually the only person that has signed on so far so we don't know if she's going to be an opening kill or a significant part of the film or what but we do know that you know it's not confirmed but there are sources showing that she's actually attached to the film so anyways and we know that she's read the script so she has it, it, it's inevitable it's just any day now we could we could hear the confirmation that 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 gail has signed on to scream scream six scream two i hope they go with scream without even a number like scream legacies or scream again or scream kills i don't care hair which you rip off just don't call it scream 2 okay so anyways got that out the way but what if we are headed down the road of where sam is battling billy in her head right and she is is um 
uncontrollable. Like maybe she's to the point to where like 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 she has her a knife to her sister's throat or somebody's throat or something, and she snaps out of it. She's like, "Oh my god, I almost just killed you!" Like I'm, what's wrong with me? You know. And, and what if we're leading down to a climax to where, you know, and I know we always say, you know, the stew train. And yes, if you guessed it right, this is the stew's uh, uh, party outfit for stew's party at the end of Scream 1 with the, with the sweater and the necklace and the, and the, uh, and the, and the robe. Um, so, yeah. So what if we're headed down to like, you know, like, like if if Stu is going to be the mastermind behind all of this because he never got the recognition of the Woodsboro murders it was always Billy 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 so what if like in the climax of this film or even the next film you know the third film of Scream 7 or Scream 3 or whatever the hell they're going to call it what if it's Billy and Stu battling it out what if it's Sam I mean I mean it's really Sam and Stu but what if it's Billy and like Billy is controlling Sam, so it feels like you know, like like Stu knows that Sam is having these these uh, visions of Billy, and Stu is so pissed off that like he that Billy has taken all the recognition for the Woodsboro murders. He's never got his film. He's never got his movie. He's never got his legacy, and he is so pissed off. So. You know, what if they made like this, like I was thinking of like a camera shot of like inside of Stu's home, if they do take place in Stu's house again, um, of Sam and Stu fighting and, and the camera like panning around to like mirrors and stuff like that. And we, but instead of seeing Sam, we see, we see Billy in the fight, you know, and it could be a really technical and cool cinematography shot of just like panning around and you see just Sam and Stu fighting, but when it gets, when the camera approaches the, the, uh, the mirror, it, it's actually Billy and Stu fighting, you know, like, 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 like they could do some really cool shots with that. That's just a wild theory that I had. And I was like, man, that would be so cool to see on screen. I don't know what y'all think about that, but with, if they are going to stick with this, you know, uh, Sam having visions of Billy they have to be going somewhere with it you know either it's something a little bit more simpler of her going to the dark side and and Tara her sister is actually the final girl and they have to battle it out or if Stu is actually the mastermind and then Sam and Stu have to battle it out you know it, I, I really think they, they could really go anywhere with this and if they are risking it all who's to say that they're not gonna be very creative with this they're gonna put their they're they're gonna put their fucking their spice into it you know they're gonna put some style into it and I don't want them to hold back I want something different from the screen franchise I just don't want them to go too paranormal or too psychological you know you can go a little bit of psychological I do want to see Billy back Skeet Ulrich I want to see him back but scale him back a bit don't show him so many times in, in the rear view mirror and in this the hospital scene and then later on in the film just show us once or twice that he is there and that's it you don't have to keep we don't have to always see billy talking i think that's what that's what bothers me a little bit that takes me out of the movie a little bit it's cool to see billy and it was cool to see him in this scene but whenever we saw him in the car and he started cut some fucking throats you know and stuff like that like that kind of took me out of the movie but it didn't bother me as much as seeing him just like nudging for the knife or just seeing him you know whatever just show us little shots of that less dialogue from skeet more showing him a little bit more you know like 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 just let's just see that his presence is there we don't need a whole bunch of of uh dialogue from him so yeah that's my thoughts on this. What do you think about this theory? Do you think that Billy will make a return in Scream 6, Scream 2, whatever they're going to call it? Uh, do you think that Stu is the mastermind behind this? Do you think that, that Sam is going to be battling these demons? Or do you think she's going to have more control over Billy? And she's going to still be fighting them like, like I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this, you know? Or do you really think that they're going to take the approach of where Billy is kind of sort of helping Sam to the point to where it is a um he, billy's almost a good guy now like helping out you know he's sw swapped sides now you know like where are they gonna go with this all right 
that's all I have to say. I just wanted to upload this and, and, and give you my thoughts and my ideas of where they could go with the Billy character and the Stu character and the Sam character. And, and how do you want this to all unfold? How do you want this to come together at the end of the mastermind, you know, uh, uh, idea behind the whole arc of the whole this new scream story with these new characters i really i'm really interested to see did you like seeing billy back or did it take you out of the uh, movie a little bit like it did for me so yeah anyways this is destination station thank you for clicking on this video consider subscribing to destination station and clicking that uh bell notification for more content in the future especially for scream content so yeah be looking out for videos in the future so i'll see you later and i'll see you when i see you